Good morning. ¿A quién más hicimos despertarse temprano? Te amo. <risa> right on the dot, right on the dot. Hello, good morning. Buenos días. Good morning. Uh, Dan Rizzo, City Council de Revere. Concejal de Revere. Good morning, Dan. Uh, good morning. Buenos días, uh, mi amigo y mis amigas. Yes. Uh, Dan, right before we get into the the uh, the subject, we're talking about the World Baseball Classic. It's coming up this weekend in Miami. And uh, I don't know if you're a baseball fan, but you've got all these different teams, uh, 20 different teams from 20 different countries. Wow. Israel, Netherlands, uh, Colombia, Puerto Rico, uh, Dominican Republic, Venezuela, all U.S., obviously Team USA, all playing for this uh, in this awesome tournament. And there's a huge game this Saturday uh, in Miami. And unfortunately, Dan, I've got to go to Miami and do this job covering this event it's it's so you know someone's got to break for you yeah. <laughs> but, but i got an extra seat in the plane you want to come <laughs> uh, you know what you don't have to ask me more than once <laughs> well i'm gonna ask you something else though i'm gonna ask you something else today about revere in no miami ask me anything Okay, Dan, uh, we just heard um, Claudia Correa. You know Claudia. You yeah. guys know each other. Hi, yeah. Claudia, Claudia, and Hi. Dan. Hi, Dan. Yep. Um, Hi, Claudia. Yep. Give us a little rundown of, uh, you know, the, the, the voting, um, a little kind of the situation. But before I get to that, I want to hear your kind of perspective as well, um, how we got to this place. Give me the 45-second, your view of where we were right before the vote a couple weeks ago. So um, what was happening in Revere? Seemed like there was a lot of excitement sure. for a new needed high school, right? Right. And there's still excitement for a new high school. I, there's no doubt in my mind we're going to we're gonna wind up with a new high school. Um, right now, the debate is over site location um, and solidifying our finances. So um, I don't think, you know, I think it's unfortunate that a lot of people, parents and especially children were led to believe by some that maybe this was a debt issue and it wasn't going to go forward. But um, that couldn't be further from the truth. All 11 of us city councilors are committed to a new high school. In fact, on a personal level, um, I have been around long enough to have overseen five new schools in the city. I built one myself, which is the new Hill Elementary School, and I'm firmly committed to building a new high school, but we just one have second. to do it in a financial way. All right, let me just bring, yeah, I'm let me sorry, know. So, there. yep, Claudia, yeah, Claudia, lo que dice Dan, uh -huh. es que todavía estaban emocionados. Sí, sí. Por un nuevo high school. Correct. Y todavía él dice que, eh, desafortunadamente, eh, no es lo que ha escuchado, que es que no se va a escribir una nueva high school, sí. que los 11 concejales están uh, comprometidos con un nuevo high school. Lo que se está debatiendo ahora es ¿Dónde? dónde y cuánto va a costar Correcto. y cuánto los taxpayers, la gente, van a tener, no, la, 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 los residentes, de pagar. Esa es la Correcto. cuestión ahora el costo nuevo elevado y si el lugar es el más apropiado. Correcto. Él dice que él personalmente <coughs> ha sido parte de cinco escuelas, uh -huh. de la construcción de cinco escuelas, incluso, inclusive la Hill, eh, the, la escuela Hill, sí. que él estuvo parte. So, ok, now we all agree, we're, we're, we're on the same page. ¿Qué pasó? Six, four, and one. Eh, tell me why you voted against moving forward with this site With this timetable, le estoy preguntando a Dan Rizzo por qué el, el lunes anterior él votó en contra eh, de este nuevo lugar frente de Wonderland Ballroom y, y, y por qué. Why Dan? Why did you vote no? Por qué? So, so first of all, um, we have an so when we took this land by eminent domain, essentially what we did is we took this uh, valuable land, all, although and, and albeit you know, has been empty since Wonderland Dog Track, but the land has a huge value and huge tax implications for the residents of our city. People who, uh, renters here, taxpayers here, that are going to wind up um, uh, uh, losing the benefit of that land by us taking it off the tax rolls. Uh, many people, or several of us that voted, um, wanted to see the high school built at the existing location. It might be some short-term pain uh, because of the construction and so on, but in the long run, we'll have a revenue source at Wonderland that will help us pay for this school, and we'll have a centralized high school so that it's more accessible for kids all around the city instead of putting it all the way in the furthest, most eastern part. 
All right, let, 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 let me summarize that. That's very interesting, sure. Dan. Um, <clears throat> so, Dan dijo que eh, el problema número uno es la, con la, 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 cuando ellos compraron esa, ese territorio de los que estaban ahí hace 10 años, o sea, hace más de 10 años, uh -huh. <clears throat> el valor de la tierra era cierta cantidad. Ahora ha subido astro astro astronómicamente. Uh -huh. Y él dice que ese territorio, a, a frente de Wonderland, lo pueden usar para otros usos que le va a traer más dinero a la ciudad, mucho en más impuestos. dinero en impuestos, uh -huh. para poder pagar esta nueva escuela, que él dice, una de las ideas es tumbarla de nuevo, la, la, la uh -huh. vieja, y construir ahí mismo donde está. Va a ser doloroso por un tiempo porque es mucha construcción. Y la nueva high school sería donde está la, la actual, que está en el centro de la ciudad, que él piensa que es más fácil, también una vocación mucho mejor, para los estudiantes, no tanto en la parte este, que está cerca más de la playa, uh -huh. de ese territorio. So, es una cuestión financiera lo que estoy viendo aquí. So, so there are different factors, including how it's going to affect the taxpayers, which I'm one of them, by the way, and revere <laughs> um, uh, your decision, correct? So, um, Okay, so so I got that. I got that. Wait, I have one question. Okay, you have a question. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that we were talking about as well was um, how, you know, right now there is the implication of this putting in res the accreditation for the high school um, and how that can put like some, some of the seniors and juniors currently um, in some sort of like uh, rough issues when trying to, to enter colleges besides community college. How does your decision impact that? And like, is there... Ha, wasn't <clears throat> sorry how was that taken into consideration in your decision since this is very important for seniors absolutely and i think that's an excellent question because again i think it's um i don't know how else to put it i think that it's a scare tactic to um to get the city council to come along and and vote the way they want us to vote as opposed to what the right decision might be when i was mayor of revere in 2014 they were threatening the city with taking away our accreditation. So, I mean, this has been going on for a long, long time. Um, I don't really know, quite honestly, what took us so long to get to this point to build the high school in all, in all honesty. Um, we were moving along quite well with our school building program, but nonetheless, this situation is more about logistics than it is about building a new high school. So I, if, if there's anything you can take away from this, The city council is committed to building a new high school and we will be building a new high school once we resolve the issues that we have. Um, okay. That, let, let me just kind of... Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, sí, la, la, la pregunta que yo le hice al concejal fue, eh, así como nos estaban hablando acerca del, del peligro que también es, se pone en la, la escuela al no hacer esta nueva high school, es para los que están ahorita en último y penúltimo año, los juniors y los seniors. Um, y cómo se les puede complicar el proceso para um, aplicar a, a universidades. Correcto. Como nos estaban diciendo, Suffolk University, que yo atendo, no. yo, yo voy a Suffolk no. University. Este, y lo que nos está diciendo el concejal, que cuando él fue el alcalde de, de Revere en 2014, este, usaron una táctica similar para que, que, como él la percibe, es para poder hacerlos tomar una decisión. Este, o sea, en otras palabras, él dice que este, esta teoría de que le van a quitar uh -huh. la acreditación a high school es algo que él lo ha escuchado. No, no creo que él cree uh -huh. que va a llegar a, a, a ese peligro, que no es, eh, que no, no va a pasar. Por su experiencia. Por su experiencia. Uh -huh. Dice que el proceso de construir un nuevo high school, todos admiten, ha demorado demasiado tiempo. Uh -huh. Ha sido un proceso demasiado lento, uh -huh. pero que en este momento es un debate de logísticas y de costos más que nada. Correcto. No es que nadie quiere el high school. Correcto. So just, we've just kind of summarized um, what you just said, Dan. So we've been very kind of fair and accurate in presenting both sides uh, 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 of kind of the, the issue. Because as you know, Mayor, Mayor Arrigo um, was very upset uh, and he sent a letter, which we read here. Um, la carta de Mayor Arrigo, eh, que estaba dando chispa. I just want to uh, uh, remind folks and then have you kind of respond To, to, to what Mayor Rigo said, um, and I'll read it in Spanish. We did translate, I know you know it already um, in English, um, pero luego I'll kind of paraphrase or condense it a little. Um, <clears throat> la ciudad de Riviera fue testigo de un grave fracaso en la Cámara de Consejo Municipal 
el lunes por la noche, cuando seis líderes electos de nuestra ciudad, incluyendo a un ex maestro y a un ex alcalde, un ex mayor, votaron en contra de avanzar la propuesta y el diseño de la nueva escuela secundaria. Esta semana demostraron que el City Council no valora la educación ni prioriza el futuro de nuestra ciudad. Espero que los residentes con, con y sin niños en nuestros sistemas escolares se estén indignados por esta decisión y que hemos fallado a más de 7,168 estudiantes. So I've kind of read the piece where um, Mayor Rigo says uh, city council failed the community, of, uh, the community uh, including an ex-teacher, an ex-mayor, I'm pretty sure he was referring to you, um, and that folks should be outraged um, and that we failed our 7,168 students in, uh, in not taking the opportunity to, 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 to move forward with the schools. ¿Cómo tú respondes? How do you respond to that? Because he alluded to you. Él se refirió a ti personalmente. Exactly. And, you know, I think it's shameful rather than getting back together um, with the city council and uh, really try to understand and collaborate what our issues are. He chooses once again just to lash out, which uh, it's certainly not my style. I mean, I I'm the only one uh, uh, of the two of us, let's say, that has ever built schools. And uh, so my commitment to education has always been there and it continues to be there. I mean, In 2014, we were the number one high school in the country, and we were recognized by the National Center for Urban School Transformation. We were the only school district in the urban school district that were all level one and two schools. Every one of our schools, elementary, middle, and high school, all level one and two schools. Um, and we were recognized at that time by Governor Patrick. So, you know, I, I, I think that he needs to I think he needs to calm himself down and, you know, um, you know, work together as a, you know, instead of in opposition. Uh, and, uh, and, and when he does that, and, and, and I, th I think he's capable to do that, um, we're going to together build this new school. It's going to get built. If I can say anything, um, Alberto, to your listeners, because it's, It's troublesome that people are so worried and nervous about accreditation and worried about, you know, the school not being built. I'm just want to tell them right now, this will be built. I'm saying this directly to you. I've known you, Alberto, for a long time. I don't say anything that I don't mean. It is going to happen. We just need to work out the logistics. Okay. Vamos con él. Claudia, I want you to kind of uh, enter the fray a little bit uh, because we have Dan Rizzo, a city councilor, eh, que nos dijo, respondiendo a lo que dijo la, uh, Arrigo, re responding to Arrigo's letter, dice que da pena uh -huh. que el alcalde haya eh, escogido esa forma de expresarse. Eh, él dice que lo más importante es que se construya una escuela uh, y que todos estén, están comprometidos en eso. Como dice, en el 2014, cuando él era alcalde, eh, eh, la Revere High School y fue votada la número uno en el estado de Massachusetts. Eh, durante ese tiempo que estaba el gobernador de Val Patrick, todos los niveles de las escuelas de Revere tenían el level one, el nivel uno, que es el máximo, es lo, lo mejor. Y que en este momento no es para estar peleando y usando esta oportunidad. Y él dijo, <coughs> él looked into the camera y dijo, Alberto, te conozco por muchos años, quiero que tu audiencia sepa, I want your audience to know, que la escuela se va a construir de una forma u otra. Todos estamos committed para la escuela. Ahora es simplemente los logísticas. ¿Dónde y cuánto nos va a costar? So, Dan, I want to give now the floor to, to Claudia. I want to thank you for coming on the show, answering directly these questions. Um, you can feel free to hang around, um, do whatever you got to do. If you want to hang around or just listen, um, you don't have to come back on, but I want to thank you for, for coming on. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's always great to talk to you and your listeners. And um, certainly if uh, anyone has any questions, uh, they can, you know, they can track me down. I'm very easy to find. I live here. I work here. So uh, I'd be more than happy to answer questions. But, you know, um, I just think that, you know, um, you know, I wanted mostly to just let people know we're not going to lose accreditation. We are going to be building a new high school. We're going to work this out, and it's all going to be good for the city of Revere and all the families who live there. All right. Thank you, Dan. We'll let you go. Thank, Thank you, you so Dan. Much. All right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Claudia, you heard me.